You know, you can see up there it says what ticks me off for today. It's a what ticks me off edition for today. You know what ticks me off a lot, folks? I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way when I say this. Updates and ads, pop-up ads, that is. You probably ask yourself, well, why, why, does that, why do those tick you off? <laughs> well, let me explain. I've said this before about updates, and I'll say it again. I can understand that you need to update. You need to update software and stuff to make it up to date, as the saying goes. Up, so it would be up to date, as like I said, say going, with what's being produced or what's being sold or what's coming out. I get that. But... And basically put it up to standards. But, you know, it's one thing to do it. Like with the Xbox, it's, it's one thing to do it once a month or once every few months. But to do it weekly? I mean, I understand that systems like the Xbox and the PS3 and the Wii have to do updates at times. I understand that. But to do it on weekly basis is... From what I've heard from other people, from what other people have told me through Twitter and Facebook, Xbox has been doing this a lot. Why? Because apparently, from what they said, Xbox is preparing for the release of the new, of the new thing, if you will. Now, I'm not saying Xbox is alone in this. I'm pretty sure the P PS3 is doing similar stuff, and I'm pretty sure the Wii would do similar stuff. But, you see, I'm used to the fact that video game systems would do it, would do it every other month or once a month, and that's good. But then you got computers. You got PCs. You got computers. You got PCs, and... I can understand once a month or once every other month, the Windows and Mac and all them, you know, they do, they do these updates to keep things up to standard. And sometimes when you shut down your computer, it says installing or updating one of one or updating one of ten uh, things or installing one of ten situations because of the update. I can understand it. I get that. I understand and I get that. But what I don't understand and I don't get sometimes, because it's not just happening with the computer in the rec room, but with my computer, and I'm sure everybody else feels this way too, is when the updates take not just one day, but then you have another update the following day. It's like, okay, why can't you guys just do all, the, you know, all these updates all at once like you usually do? Why do you have to constantly do them? And again, I can understand it's to keep it up to standards, but what I would like, basically, to come out of this is for them to give us a reason as to why they're updating. You know, give us a message saying, oh, by the way, at this time frame and this time frame, uh, we'll be updating such and Windows will be updating such and such because this will be part of the update. Just like, just like game systems do, game consoles do sometimes. Now, again, I understand why they have to update. It's to, you know bring things up to standards. And I get that, but come on. Once a month, I understand. Once every month, I understand. But why? But two days in a row? I don't get that. And then let's talk about pop-up ads, shall we? I know a lot of people say that certain places that have pop-up ads are not the best place to go. And I get that. But even if they are safe, the one thing I constantly can't stand is them popping up out of nowhere. Okay, let me give you an example. I'll go to a torrent site, if you will, and I will try to download, let's say, like last night I downloaded Night of Champions, in, which was basically put into two parts, two video parts. But I downloaded Night of Champions, okay? I downloaded it. But here's what I don't get. But here's what ticks me off, though, and I don't get this. When I go to these sites, 
and I click on download torrent or click on the magnet part to get it instantly a big old another screen pops up and then I have to you know minimize my screen or kind of you know put it down to the bar area just so I can click off on that other screen that pops up and I'm saying to myself why is this happening why are these ads constantly popping up I'll tell you why I'll tell you why and this ticks me off and I'm sure it ticks anybody else off it's the fact that they do it knowing that eventually you're gonna make a mistake and you're gonna click on something you don't want to click on and it's not just with the torrent sites I go to ringsidenews.com I go to wrestlingnewsworld.com um, and I get the same thing oh but get this the only way you can avoid them is to have a premium account uh, do they realize that despite how cheap they can put those not many people can afford it on a day-to-day -day or basis if they will do they not get that it's like come on I mean I understand people want to put ads out there to sell their product but come on if you want to do an ad nothing but ads create a website come together create a website and say welcome to the all ads website where all the pop-up ads that get in your way are now constantly here for you to find it makes more sense instead of just going out and having them pop up on sites that are not necessarily they don't necessarily need to pop up on and that's what ticks me off so but tell me does that tick you guys off too Comment down below, tell me what you guys think in response. I'll talk to you all later.